Hello and welcome back everyone to anubhavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning on how to develop applications in SAP Business Technology Platform with SAP HANA Cloud. In our last session, we looked at how to create a fresh calculation view in our Business Application Studio tool. In today's session, you will see how to consume this calculation view over the service. So we will go ahead and learn how to create a web service, a O data service of type version two or version four on top of this calculation view. So let's go to the system and experience the same. So now you can see this is our calculation view which we had built in the last class. So I would like to now expose this over the cloud application programming model. To be able to do that, we need to first of all add a entity to our data model. But as you know that when we add a entity to our data model, the system will actually try to replicate this entity into the HANA database as a table. So we need to add an entity in a way that system will understand it that it's not an entity which needs to be replicated. Rather, this entity is already present in our backend system as a calculation view. So to add the code snippet to this data model, what we need to do is we need to go back to our project into the bash tool and here in the project we need to run a command called hana client inspect view dash v and our view name so our view name is cv purchase ord dash o space cds press enter and this will now generate a code snippet for us for the entity so you can see invalid input view the reason is we are not in the correct directory so let's go to the database directory and now rerun this command here so now i run the command once again so it says that using connection configuration this invalid view input so there is a problem in the view name so i think it is ord not org i did a bad typo and now i press once again enter and you can see this time it has generated a proper view name basically a cds compatible entity i will copy this cds compatible entity and we switch over back to our data model in the cds and then we will add this view entity over here in addition to that you can see that it is telling the cds engine that this entity is already present in the database so don't create it but what is the type of this entity which is already present in the in that hana so it is a calculation view so we have to now put also an entry that cds persistence is a calculation view so that hana will uh, or the cds engine will understand that it's a calc view in the hana database so once we do these annotations the compatibility is done and the next step is to expose now this as a entity set in our service model so we go to the srv folder in our cap project and here we will add this view name and then we will just create it as a entity so you can see i've already added this and let me add this over here to consume this as a entity so we can come down and we say entity let's say purchase order by business partner or by vendors and I will put projection on my new calculation view entity. We are done and we can now save and it's time to just package and deploy. So we come back to the project level and I'll just clear the console and we do a CDS build production and CDS deploy to HANA. So we will build and deploy once again all the artifacts to HANA. And once the build and deployment is complete, it is super fast as compared to the Access Classic world of development. And then we do a CDS run command to test our service locally in Business Application Studio. So this should now start our engine, CDS engine, and we can open the new tab to test. You can see this is the new tab. And what we can see here is purchase order by vendor if i click you will see that we've got the odata service 
which is consuming data from calculation view. Awesome. I have also done a adapter proxy for V2. So it also can serve a OData V2 response. You can see it's already done. Yes. And then also what I've done now is I can also see a Furia preview right here, right now. So this is what is an amazing feature what CAP provides. You can directly see a Fury application preview, which is coming out of entity set. So you can add selections, joins, criteria, and search your data in the data uh, data container. So let me just put here city, country, name, email, gross amount, purchase order ID, supplier ID, and tax amount. So I will just move this gentleman on the top, and we click OK, and then we can see all the data. Awesome, superb. We can also add here filters to see country, company, city. And if I wanted to just see data for um, a particular country, for example, India, then I can give the country code and the system will uh, or should do the filtering for us if there are orders for India. Unfortunately, no, then let's put US. And yes, you can see we have got the data for US country in the system. Awesome. So this is a quick preview of the data which business user can also visualize at later point of time. So that is how we expose our calculation views built in SAP HANA over the CDS protocol over the CDS engine through cap model in SAP BTP using business application studio. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like share subscribe this video and channel if you enjoy this session. And I will meet you in the next class for complete training on cloud application programming model development on native HANA and HANA Cloud. With Business Application Studio, you can subscribe our course on anubavtrainings.com. Thank you so much and see you in the next class.